Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Jane and this is Styles by Jane. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If you're a repeat subscriber, thank you. And if you're new to you, ooh, thank you very much. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, my channel is focused on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. If you haven't, uh, if you're new here, go check out the other videos on my blog, uh, on my channel after this video to kind of get a vibe on the channel. I focus a lot on styling and getting value out of the pieces from your wardrobe. So if you have seen the title, you would know, except you have been living under the rock, <laughs> you would know that our sister Meghan Markle has been getting a lot of press. And truthfully, this video has been on my mind since last year to do. I have just been lazy about it. Talk about serendipity and this happened and I'm like, okay, Jane, you have to do this. Um, I've always loved Meghan's style right from her days on suits and i knew her right from her days on suits even be before she became uh suits fans would know megan <laughs> megan has always been a skirt girl which is kind of why i could identify with her style because i am also a skirt girl so i decided to do something just i uh from her i went through a couple of her style outfits that she has done over the years especially since becoming a duchess and i decided to create five looks that I have seen her wear that I know I can re recreate from my wardrobe and I wanted to quickly show you guys this she's very stylish but I love her style it's quite different from my style but I like it because it's very clean and classic and she's always very chic and not loud I love that about her and I, just reviewing her styles I know that she loves black <laughs> she loves wearing skirts uh, she loves some kind of frills like like you could see that in her style those little touch of things anyway I'm blabbing. Today's video is about recreating five looks, five or six, I can't remember, we'll see, uh, looks from Mega Mako and just how to recreate pieces in your wardrobe. Now, I've done this kind of video before uh, with um, when I did a recreating styles, you could see a couple of them, uh, the Christmas look, the Valentine look, um, styling five dresses. I, re I, I go through, um, what's it called now? Pinterest and pick up inspo, dress inspo or outfit inspo and restyle them. So. Let's get into today's video. I'm talking too much. I'm blabbing. I don't like that. Bye. See you. Okay. Um, first item on this on this look, you would see it on the screen, is this blue shorts pantsuit. Uh, no, blue shirt suit which I actually like. I don't have anything like this color in my wardrobe in blue. I could have actually done it with my pink. You guys have seen my pink, so I see like, you guys have seen that all the time. Um, I could have done it with black or gray, and you guys have seen that as well. So I decided to do it with white, which is something I haven't done. And going through her style, seeing how much she loves white, I think that this is something she would wear, I hope. But anyway, uh, so today's look, I recreated this look, and I did it with my, um, with my uh this this short suit it's not a short suit um i got them separately but i actually paired them together so it's this blazer that you guys probably would have seen you've seen it in my blazer video you've seen it a lot of times on my channel but it's this crop blazer with um i paired this crop blazer and these shorts this shirt was from last season but zara comes up with a lot of color of it and i think there's a blue one and a couple colors right now this high waisted shirt with these buttons and i paired it on with this white shirt i've had for a very long time uh it's one of my office look uh white shirt with it has this black piping you guys probably have seen this out at uh, this top in previous video uh, on my channel but i did it i paired this look together you can take her you can see it on the side and i really like how this look i love how clean this this is this is not typically something i would aggravate to uh you guys know me i'm all about color so this is not something i would aggravate to but i love how this look i love how clean and classy it looks now if you can see on the picture she did pray with um red uh no, not red like uh like a wine color purse i don't have that so i used my red dior purse and uh also megan always always wears uh pumps like cover tool pumps uh she's wearing a shiny one here like a silver uh shiny one i don't have that so i paired it on with um i can't remember what shoes i paired it on with. you guys are gonna see that but i paired it on with what i have in my wardrobe just to kind of recreate the look so the whole idea of this is not to uh wear exactly what she's wearing it's to kind of for her look to inspire me to pick something from my wardrobe so that's look number one 
Look number two is this black um, suit. What's it called? Blazer dress. Now, you know, I mentioned that she loves black. She does love black. And that was, that was part of her controversy because the British press is like, um, she's not supposed to wear black. Black is usually for mourning and Meghan tend to wear that a lot. Like, are you guys serious? So, yes, she did love black and she wore it. So I decided to create a black look just to support her. Uh, so this is a black blazer look and uh, you can see it. I can't remember what event this was uh, But she wore this black blazer look uh, carried a little clutch purse and again another pumps very simple clean And that's something I really love about her look so that I recreated that with this piece also from Zara I love the pleats detail at the bottom for this dress. It's just a very chic blazer look. I love this blazer um I got this one like two seasons ago from Zara. Zara always comes up with this so go check out your website if you're looking for something similar but yeah, uh, I love this look. I paired it on with um, this purse. Uh, you guys have seen this purse before. Uh, this purse uh, from Aldo and uh, a black pump. Uh, my black pumps. Uh, I really, uh, the black pumps I'm wearing is this, um, it's, where is it? I'll show you. Okay. It's this black pumps I have. I like, I like the mesh detail on this. It's really nice. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, I, this one is from Zara last season or two seasons ago. Anyway, so that's this look. Like, clean, classy, what do you guys think? Okay, look number three. Look number three is another blazer dress. Um, she wore this in white, which I don't have. Well, <laughs> curious, uh, coincidentally, I do have it in a blue. Uh, very similar to what she's wearing. The only difference is that mine doesn't have pockets. But it's this double-breasted uh, blazer with pleat details um, and it's sleeveless. I really love this blazer. really love this blazer. You guys would have seen it in my blazer video where I wore it with a white uh, top. Really love this. So that's the look she's wearing. Again, I paired it on with my pumps. Very clean, very classy. I do notice that she doesn't carry a lot of bags. She doesn't need to. People are following her. So works for me because I don't have a lot of bags so uh, uh yeah but when she does carry bags I tend to incorporate that but again another clean classy look she's wearing very simple and she looks very comfortable with this and that's the whole idea not all the peppy things that you wear but anyway so that's this that's this one um I really like this look this is something I would wear as well um yeah mine is short hers is not short but then again I'm no duchess so I can show my bum oh my god that shouldn't come off but yeah anyway Look number three is blinking. Okay, let me be fast with this video. Look number four is this. Um, look number four is this look. Truthfully, like I said, when I when I thought about this video last year, I got was when I got I got a chocolate color midi skirt like this. For the life of me, today I couldn't find it. Like how annoying can that be? Anyway, so I decided to. For creating this nude look, um, I use what I have in my wardrobe. I have this nude pleated skirt and I have this nude top. Not very, uh, not close to what she's wearing, but this is what I have in my wardrobe. And I really like this look. I like how clean it looks. I paired it on with my nude pumps. This is something, again, that I wouldn't typically agree to because I don't like all nude looks. But I, I, I love this one. I love how I pulled this one off. Um, again, uh... This is, I really wish I, I could find the satin skirt and probably whenever I find it, I would recreate this look somewhere else. I love what she's wearing. I love how clean it is. She paired it on with a coat. Um, I was too lazy to go downstairs to grab my coat, but you guys get the idea of these two, right? Just, it's a monochromatic look. What I really love about this look is how the skirt pairs with her shoes. Love it. Love it. Um, so I try to recreate that with my, my skirt is not exactly the same shade with my shoes, but you get the gist, right? Okay. Um, next outfit. Um, my camera battery died. And so I have to start using my phone. So just a change in quality. Just bear with me. Okay. So the next outfit I paired together is this look she's wearing. So she's wearing this peplum top and this um, feet and flare uh, trousers with shoes. So I have this peplum top which is very similar to what she's wearing. Mine is just not v-neck, but you guys will probably have seen this previously um, with this long, um, extra long frill. And I have this pants I got from Zara like a couple of seasons ago. This, I haven't worn this out. Uh, a couple of seasons ago. And this is just like, this is this came as part of the suit. 
and this is the closest I have to a fit and flare uh, trouser. This came as part of the suit, and I really love how this trouser here is. It's high waisted, fits well, and I paired these two together. Now she had hers with a belt. I, I couldn't tell if the belt came with um with the with the with the top if it was just more of a design. Seem it looked more like a design because you can't see the extras. But I tried it on with a belt. First of all, I don't have a belt as small as that. So I tried it on with uh with like a full belt and ugh, I didn't really like it. So I decided to wear it without a belt. Like if I had a smaller tiny belt, then maybe I could have made it work. But I didn't really like it with a belt. But I really like this look. Um, I, I wouldn't have thought of pairing these two things together. So that's the whole idea about getting outfit in school. You are able to look into more like shopping your clothes at. You're able to look at um um you're able to look at items that you have in your wardrobe and look at items uh, that people have created and kind of get inspired to create it and i really love doing videos like this because it allows me to think deep into things i have at the back of my wardrobe and wear them but anyway so that's this look and this is how i have paired it so tell me what you guys think I think I, I I don't know I like this one so far my favorite has been the white shirts though I don't I, that that look just killed me like that that look was the bomb um yeah so anyway so this is look number four look number five remember when I said Megan loves black <laughs> she does love black so this look is an all black look. <laughs> I'm sure people will be so pissed with this look. This is an all black look where she paired this black turtleneck and this pants trouser. Now, oh my god, um, seeing this look, I realized that this trouser I have is a dupe for something because I know I can say that that trouser isn't from Zara, of course. Um, she's a duchess, she's probably from one expensive designer or shit like that. But look at these pants, the only difference. Between these pants and what Megan is wearing is that Megan's own has two buttons here and mine doesn't. But it's the exact replica of it. And this pants fits like a glove. This, like the waist is so good. It's high waisted and it cinches you in. It's like, whoo. <laughs> But anyway, so I decided uh, like this was a this when I put in this look together, I was mind blown because it seemed like the exact look that she's wearing. I paired it on with this turtleneck I have from H&M and I like the fact that it has these gold button details that just complements the entire look and I paired it on with black pumps, an all black look love this look I love looks like this because it just makes my complexion come out and just shine I love it so this is an all black look she pulled together and I pulled the same thing and I love it and I think this is my second favorite look from the all white look but yeah that's look number five now I know she loves skirt a lot and I I didn't want to do a full skirt look because one uh that's easy to put together. You just find a simple high waisted skirt and another one. So like the rest of these are easy to get put together. I think I was just lazy. Full transparency. But anyway, that's my top five Megan Mac. No, I won't say that's my top five because I'm sure I have other fives. But that's my that's the quick five Megan Mac look I have put together from pieces in my wardrobe. You know, like I said, she's been getting a lot of press. I wanted to at least do it my little way on YouTube, on the interwebs to kind of showcase her fashion instead of whatever babble that's going on in the world right now around her. Just to highlight her fashion sense in a good way, to see that she's inspiring women like us to actually recreate looks like her and yeah. I don't know i just this is my way of saying megan you're doing good we support you yeah i support you i don't know about the rest of people watching the video but at least we can all agree that she does have a good fashion sense and then she can inspire us to create items in our wardrobe but anyway yes women supporting women thank you guys for watching this video oh my god i'm on a high today the weather is so nice <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video um yeah Ooh, I got a new camera and that was what I was using to shoot this video. So that this is my first camera video. Tell me, is there a difference? I don't know. I would be excited to see if you guys actually notice a difference in the quality of my videos because I, I was excited. I don't know if anybody would notice it, but I was excited. I decided to share that with you guys. Okay, I'm blabbing. All right, thank you guys for watching. Go check out the other videos on my channel if you haven't seen that. I have a couple more, uh, I would say a haul coming, but yeah. 
go check out the other video turn on your notification bell i bring out videos weekly every saturday so you wouldn't miss that thank you guys thank you for stopping by and enjoy the rest of your day bye